It's been a while since I've picked up this camera and said anything to you. I tried to make a video about the forecast and how you shouldn't look too far ahead, but I got lost in the mix and I never even paid attention to what the weather was doing. I've been so busy training and working, just doing the things that I do. And the video making, I guess I've got some videos made. I've, I've not been able to edit very much, to be honest. And when I don't get to edit, it feels awkward to make more content as far as raw content on the cards because it gets lost in the shuffle. I don't know what I'm doing and uh, yeah, I don't remember what I filmed and what I mentioned and what I hadn't, but I'm seeing some overdevelopment. Squirrel! But I think it's gonna just blow on by. Like it might drop a little, we might get a little puff or two out of it. There's some big clowns, we're gonna go out to the river bottom and I'm gonna meet a new student and maybe do some flying. There's gonna be some moderate winds. It should be fun, nice, great evening to go do that. It should be a fun, pretty, windy, smooth. It's gonna be nice this evening. If all that stuff blows up and makes some clouds in the west, then we'll be good. bottom this evening but my gut feeling tells me that it's gonna be beautiful and we're in store for a real treat of some smooth winds a shade flying flying in the shade love flying the shade hey guys remember me I can't seem to finish a video every time I start one like I go and I'm training and I'm training people to fly and it really messes up the video making because I don't pull the camera out when I'm training I'm really focused on the students gosh so, give it to me Ain't nobody got time for that. Get in the hole. Ah, there we go. So, a couple things that I've been doing. I've been training for six weeks nonstop. I can I just barely done any video filming. I don't know what I've got recorded or what I'm gonna piece together. I tried to do some editing today, but I'm to the point where I need to do voiceovers. Had a student show up in town, and he's a, I say a former student. He's still a student, but he's in town, wants to do some practice. Uh, meet me at the airport, he's got his own gear. But all my gear's at the house. I didn't know he was coming until I'd already come to the work today. So I gotta go to the house and I think I'm gonna fly over to the airport to meet him. So I'll get to take a flight. You guys get to come along with me. The other thing that I've been doing is I've been clearing out pasture land at the house for my wife. I've cut down like two acres of trees. I've been piling and burning, treating the lawn. I've, I've gotten into this uh, like turf hobby, I, I guess. I'm, I'm trying to switch out my grass, grow in some Bermuda there, make it basically like a like a smooth fairway golf course out in the Kylo field there. And just uh, redo the entire set of turf, at least out in the front part. I like to get the front part like, like turf grass, no weeds, no bumps, no roots. All that'll be coming in a future video, I'm sure. But I'm gonna go up tonight and get some initial footage of the work that I've been doing, kind of an in progress aerial photo type thing. And then I'm going to go meet my student John at the airport. I think David may be coming out to fly. And we're just gonna do some paramotoring this evening. Some good old-fashioned paramotoring. So I'll see you guys there. Funky, funky fella. What's up, y'all? Let me find out. Okie dokie then. Let's close the door. Turn out the lights. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, I got a lot of gas in it this time. Or maybe I'm just a weak old man. I don't know. We'll see. We will find out everything very soon. It's going to be a trick launch. Got uh, oh, gusty, lowly winds, launching toward the power lines, heavy Adam 80 on a fast ferry glider. <laughs> It'll probably be a turning flight and then a circular climb out. That's what my plan is if the winds stay the same. Let's go ahead and get clipped in first though. Perfect form. Launching towards power lines. Always kind of sketch city, you know? As long as you know what you're doing, you got margins. I mean, there's a point of no return. You can't go past that point. Clip. Also got to do a proper warm up so it don't choke on me when I need it most. What's these buzzers doing? They're flapping around doing nothing. Well, that gives me hope it's going to smooth out a little bit. Motor seems to work. Alright, just a little gust of wind now. That's all I want. A little bitty gust. Let's see. Is it coming? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be tight. It's going to be real, real tight.
<laughs> yep, super <f> tight. <laughs> but this next pass is going to be good. Executed just like I thought. Come on, give me some altitude. There we go. Nice. Okay, a little bit more altitude. That's helpful. Bumps. Whoa. Big bump. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I've made mention in several videos about your moves becoming reflexive, and I happened to catch one just by accident. The wing shoots here, and I pull my hands down and stop the surge. It was all on camera, and it happened really fast. It's not something I thought about. You see my hand going down. You can see the trailing edge deflecting on the wing. And when the glider shoots, you got to come down. The next thing that's not on camera is you have to let your hands back up to build speed again. Once you catch a surge like that, and that was just a little one, but you gotta let her fly. But I just want to show you the move. Bumps. Whoa. Big bump. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, so I broke out the old uh, camcorder here. We'll see if I can take some video of the yard. All right, so let's see what we're working with here. Yeah, I can plainly see that I messed up my, uh, my fertilize. You see? See, that's what, I was, that's what I get for doing it in the dark. But yeah, I'm going to try to replace my grass with Bermuda grass. Yeah, Kylo feels just not what I want it to be. I want it to be better than it is. What's it like vlogging? Is this good content? Oh, this is terrible content, isn't it? Yep, pretty sure it's terrible content. But we're going to head on over here to the airport and meet my student and uh, do it like that. I hope you like this video. This is the first time I've ever had this camera on board the paramotor. I know I'm full blast and the audio is probably really <laughs> But I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I'm going to put this thing up so I can actually fly. I'll catch you guys in a minute. My favorite thing to do is to drop my camcorder out of my pocket. <laughs> Maybe it works. All right, round two. Yeah, conditions have gone sort of nil. Mr. John did a great takeoff. I'm about to see if I can do a nil win takeoff. Hadron XX, Adam 80, big old fat honky from North Louisiana. We about to find out what kind of gumbo this makes. You know, two things can happen. It's either a recipe for disaster or excellent goodness. We'll try to do it right and just see what happens, I guess. And then I'll have to go home for supper. All right, clipped in. It's like I've got like a crosswind, tailwind type thing going on. Different than when I laid out, but that's okay too. Let's see if we can try not to wreck it. I wonder if I'll get off the ground before I get to the hill. Probably not likely, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna hit it nice and hard. a fast takeoff. I had some downwind on that one. But I did it. That may have been the fastest takeoff I've ever done. Let's do a little air to air videography, huh? All right, so I spent the last few minutes just climbing, and now I'm gonna spend a couple of minutes just gliding. Man, this thing really comes down. It's nice to just fly around. I forgot how much I liked this. <laughs> no, back to the back to the lawn here. The burweed, the stickers were just such a nuisance. Every time you bend down and touch your lawn, put on a motor, clip in, whatever, it just became like you ow, ooh, ow, little stickers, little piss ant stickers poking you. 
and I just had a fit with them and I've tried to burn them I've tried poisoning them they keep coming back well I finally figured out that I wasn't doing it right and so during the process of researching how to do it right I came across all this other information about the different types of weeds and the different types of grass you know frankly a lot of stuff that I never gave two flips about even after living in my own property and tending to the yard for all these years it never occurred to me that I maybe should pay attention I, I don't know but it's turned into more of a weed patch than a yard and luckily I got to it while there's still a little bit of grass left but the kind of grass that's growing there doesn't do well with the weed killer that I need to put down but I've, I've cut down like this whole back part of the pasture for Jennifer and her horses and we're gonna see if we can't get her uh, some extra room see she wanted to take up part of the field the, the airfield I didn't want to give it up so I offered to knock out the trees in the background and make her horse pasture go the other way but yeah that's that's where i'm at with that and it's still got a bunch of stuff that i want to cut but i can't cut some of it because it's on this guy's side and he don't want the trees cut on his side damn sweet gum trees i see a patch of them right there i wish i hate those things sweet gums are the worst but check out what i got going here with this uh let me get my controls in my hand while i'm low and we're gonna slow it up yeah check this out I've cut and burned all these trees here. Can you tell? But I'm gonna get it fixed and I'm gonna get the grass to grow in there. But this other part here, this Kylo field part, I got some work to do to that too. What is the wind doing? Absolutely freaking looking at nothing. Totally nil. But yeah, all that that was trees, I'm gonna turn that into pasture. Effectively doubling the size of her field out there. That's what I'm aiming for. So this cutover over here is my bailout, and I believe I could hit it. I think the majority of it is short enough that I wouldn't break a leg. If you're going to pick a spot like that for your bailout, you really want to look at where the roads are, where people have been driving. That's going to be sort of the line you want to pick as you come around and come in there to land in that. You want to make sure that you hit, like, the road's going to be, you're not going to be logs to trip over. So I've got my spot picked, even though this field is my spot. I've actually got my bullseye picked already, even from way up here. I thought my wife was over here. I ain't seeing her, though. Or is that her? Usually sitting on the back porch or the front porch. Yeah, that's my in-law's place down there. Yeah, she's there. You know, the temperatures have been so hot and buggy lately, but there's some drier air here now. It's actually quite pleasant. It is amazingly feeling nice out here today. That is a big, huge fat plus. Let's see what my glide's looking like here. Which way is the wind blowing? I only got one windsock out in the dang yard. I need to, oh, I need to do so much. I've been starting so many sentences like that lately, talking about I need to, I need to, oh hey, I need to wave at my mama. Hey guys, what y'all doing? Guess that's mama or Billy boy. Yeah, that's mama. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's my mama's garden down there. That was a good one. I'd pit that landing against anybody's any day. I hope you like my video. It feels so good out here. So I got some work to do. I'm gonna go do that. Stay tuned for more. I'm sure I'm not gonna quit making these things anytime soon. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff that you can do down there. Much appreciated and much love, guys. Kyle out.